The workshop focused on the overview of the health status of the Namibian population, progress on the implementation of the strategic plan, as well as identify challenges posed by disasters such as COVID-19. This exercise could not have come at a better time as the current five-year health sector strategic plan for Namibia and next year. The review will provide us with the opportunity to assess progress in implementation of the strategies and attainment of the set goals. In addition, it will allow us to document contextual factors impacting performance of the sector, which would help to inform the development of the next health policy and sector strategic Plan. Dr. Sango Moses further says the health sector performance reviews will further ensure the progress towards achievement of the national health goals and objectives as well as provide source of evidence for policy makers. As we await the findings and recommendations from the review, it is important to note that the results are not an end in themselves and that real progress largely depends on the extent to which the evidence, recommendations, and agreed actions from the review are taken further by both government and partners. The five-day workshop organized by the Ministry of Health and Social Services was attended by participants from different regions. This was all about health uh, system review, which was last done 13 years ago. So from here, I believe everything will be changed because we are going to start from where they left. So 13 years gap is a lot. So uh, we are going to, to cover all the gaps that had been there for all this, more than a decade. Honestly speaking, there's nothing that's going to go wrong because we have people with high profile in public health. We have experts from uh, all over Africa under the guidance of uh, a World Health Organization. And the guidance that they have actually given us, we are proven and we are sure as we are going to, to go into the fields, we are going to get the good results. The report from the workshop will be launched next year. Selima Henok, NBC News, Ventug.